Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. In today's video, you're going to see math activities that would be great for children probably in kindergarten or first grade age range. These are hands-on activities that teach addition, simple addition uh, with values that equal to 10. This activity is called Going Bananas for Sums. And as you can see, it is a monkey theme. What the children do is they have to display the equation with bananas. So they put so many bananas on one side and so many bananas on the other side to show the two amounts that they're going to add. And then they find the proper card and that has the answer and place it on the mat. This activity comes from my Early Learners Math Curriculum, Unit 5, which is all about addition. Flip it over. All right, this one you're going to demonstrate two bananas plus four. Two plus four. So you did four plus two, which is okay, even though it says two plus four, because when we flip them, it's still gonna equal the same thing. Again, very good. So look, we did this one. Five plus one is six, and two plus four is six. Look at that. So two plus seven equals nine. Excellent job. Okay, very, very good. This activity is called Domino Added Up. The children use real dominoes. They take one and they place it on their card. Then they have to display the equation by either using a dry erase marker or with manipulatives like we did when we used number blocks. Again, this activity comes from my Early Learners Math curriculum. You can find links to everything in this video down in the description box below. How many um, dots are on this side? Six. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the six block and put it in your equation. So we have six plus, how many are on this side? Good, equals how many all together? That's six plus two make. Very good, okay, so that's what you're gonna do. So you'll, we'll take another card and we'll grab another domino and we'll do it again. Write the answer in for that one. Can you write 11? Hold it the proper way. Yes. Down around, put on a hat. You make a five just like that. Okay, five plus five equals ten. Good. Six and four. What does six and four make? It is <laughs> it's 10. Good job. This activity is Math Star Roll and Cover. They have two dice that come with this activity and they roll them and then they use those two numbers to add and then they have to cover up their answer using a manipulative on the mat. So we used little star erasers that kind of went with our math star theme. But you could use anything you wanted to cover up your answers. Four and a five. So five pencils plus four scoops of ice cream makes what? It's five plus four. Nine. Good. Cover up a nine with your star. We're going to keep going so we can cover up all the math stars, okay? All right. Or again. Five. Three. Seven or five or two or ten. Oh, oh, 
Oh, that five and two, what's that make? Seven. Yes! Yes! Now you just need five. What about what? ten? What about two? Oh, you didn't get ten? Oh, what am I saying? Ten, five and two. You got a couple of them. You got yeah. Three and two makes what? two cards. So flip over a card and put it here and then flip over another one and put it here. Okay. So you flipped over three and five. You are going to add these numbers. You're going to add three plus five by using these. So you're going to put your little um, smiley faces on each touch point. So there's one, two, three on the number three. And then there's five touch points on the number five. Okay, very good. So find our eight and let's put our answer in here. What's our sum? Three plus five equals? Excellent. Okay, so we used our touch points. Three plus five or five plus three equals eight. Very nice. This activity is touch point math edition. Now, if you have never heard of touch point math, I would encourage you to go watch some of my videos that I did explaining how I teach touch point math. This activity comes from a bundle I have on my website of all sorts of touch point math activities. I'll leave a link below in the description box. Equals what? What did you say it was? Excellent. You used your finger to count that. All right, do it again for me. How much was it? Four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. So four plus five equals nine. Where's nine? Where's nine? It's right for five to ten. There you go. Four plus five equals nine. And remember, when you count, it doesn't matter, or when you add, it doesn't matter which one you start with. So since five is bigger, I would have started with that one and I would have said five and then count. Six, seven, eight, nine. But you can do it the way you did it as well. Good job.